Day 86. This is to have succeeded. Bessie Anderson Stanley. Step 1. Preview. To laugh often and much. To win the respect of intelligent people and the affection of children. To earn the appreciation of honest critics and endure the betrayal of false friends. To appreciate beauty. To find the best in others. To leave the world a bit better whether by a healthy child, a garden patch, or a redeemed social condition. To know even one life has breathed easier because you have lived. This is to have succeeded. Step 2. Sentence. Number 1. To laugh often and much. Number 2. To win the respect of intelligent people and the affection of children. Number 3. To earn the appreciation of honest critics and endure the betrayal of false friends. Number 4. To appreciate beauty and to find the best in others. Number 5. To leave the world a bit better, whether by a healthy child, a garden patch, or a redeemed social condition. Number 6. To know even one life has breathed easier because you have lived. Number 7. This is to have succeeded. Step 3. Paragraph. To laugh often and much. To win the respect of intelligent people and the affection of children. To earn the appreciation of honest critics and endure the betrayal of false friends. To appreciate beauty to find the best in others, to leave the world a bit better, whether by a healthy child, a garden patch, or a redeemed social condition. To know even one life has breathed easier because you have lived. This is to have succeeded. Step 4. Exercise. Number 1. Laugh often and much. Number 2. Endure the betrayal of false friends. Number 3. Find the best in others. Day 87. Beautiful people do not just happen. Elizabeth Kubler-Ross. Step 1. Preview. The most beautiful people we have known are those who have known defeat, known suffering, known struggle, known loss, and have found their way out of the depths. These persons have an appreciation, a sensitivity, and an understanding of life that fills them with compassion, gentleness, and a deep loving concern. Beautiful people do not just happen. Step 2. Sentence. Number 1. The most beautiful people we have known are. Number 2. Those who have known defeat, known suffering, known struggle, known loss. Number three. And have found their way out of the depths. Number four. These persons have an appreciation, a sensitivity, and an understanding of life. Number five. That fills them with compassion, gentleness, and a deep loving concern. Number six. Beautiful people do not just happen. Step 3. Paragraph. The most beautiful people we have known are those who have known defeat, known suffering, known struggle, known loss, and have found their way out of the depths. These persons have an appreciation, a sensitivity, and an understanding of life that fills them with compassion, gentleness, and a deep loving concern. Beautiful people do not just happen. Step 4. Exercise. Number 1. The most beautiful people are those who have known defeat. Number 2. These persons have an understanding of life. Number 3. Beautiful people do not just happen. Day 88. There are no shortcuts to joy. Chris Burkard. Step 1. Preview. 
In life, there are no shortcuts to joy. Anything that is worth pursuing is going to require us to suffer just a little bit. And that tiny bit of suffering that I did for my photography, it added value to my work that was so much more meaningful to me than just trying to fill the pages of magazines. See, I gave a piece of myself in these places. And what I walked away with was a sense of fulfillment I had always been searching for. Step 2. Sentence. Number 1. In life, there are no shortcuts to joy. Number 2. Anything that is worth pursuing is going to require us to suffer just a little bit. Number 3. And that tiny bit of suffering that I did for my photography? Number 4. It added value to my work that was so much more meaningful to me. Number five, than just trying to fill the pages of magazines. Number six, see, I gave a piece of myself in these places. Number seven, and what I walked away with was a sense of fulfillment I had always been searching for. Step three, paragraph. In life, there are no shortcuts to joy. Anything that is worth pursuing is going to require us to suffer just a little bit. And that tiny bit of suffering that I did for my photography, it added a value to my work that was so much more meaningful to me than just trying to fill the pages of magazines. See, I gave a piece of myself in these places. And what I walked away with was a sense of fulfillment I had always been searching for. Step 4. Exercise. Number 1. In life, there are no shortcuts to joy. Number 2. It added a value to my work. Number 3. I gave a piece of myself in these places. Day 89. Your path is your character. Jody Foster. Step 1. Preview. There is nothing more beautiful than finding your course as you believe you bob aimlessly in the current. And wouldn't you know that your path was there all along, waiting for you to knock, waiting for you to become. This path does not belong to your parents, your teachers, your leaders, or your lovers. Your path is your character defining itself more and more every day. Step 2. Sentence. Number 1. There is nothing more beautiful than finding your course. Number 2. As you believe you bob aimlessly in the current. Number 3. And wouldn't you know that your path was there all along? Number 4. Waiting for you to knock. Waiting for you to become. Number 5. This path does not belong to your parents, your teachers, your leaders, or your lovers. Number 6. Your path is your character defining itself more and more every day. Step 3. Paragraph. There is nothing more beautiful than finding your course as you believe you bob aimlessly in the current. And wouldn't you know that your path was there all along, waiting for you to knock, waiting for you to become. This path does not belong to your parents, your teachers, your leaders, or your lovers. Your path is your character, defining itself more and more every day. Step 4. Exercise. Number 1. There is nothing more beautiful than finding your course. Number 2. Your path was there all along. Number 3. This path does not belong to your parents. Day 90. Giving up is not an option. Bernie Sanders. Step 1. Preview. The struggle to create a nation and world of economic and social justice and environmental sanity is not an easy one. 
The struggle to try and create a more peaceful world will be extremely difficult. But this I know. Despair is not an option if we care about our kids and grandchildren. Giving up is not an option if we want to prevent irreparable harm to our planet. Step 2. Sentence. Number 1. The struggle to create a nation and world of economic and social justice and environmental sanity is not an easy one. Number 2. The struggle to try and create a more peaceful world will be extremely difficult. Number three. But this I know. Number four. Despair is not an option if we care about our kids and grandchildren. Number five. Giving up is not an option if we want to prevent irreparable harm to our planet. Step three. Paragraph. The struggle to create a nation and world of economic and social justice and environmental sanity is not an easy one. The struggle to try and create a more peaceful world will be extremely difficult. But this I know. Despair is not an option if we care about our kids and grandchildren. Giving up is not an option if we want to prevent irreparable harm to our planet. Step 4. Exercise. Number 1. The struggle to try and create a more peaceful world will be extremely difficult. Number 2. Despair is not an option if we care about our kids and grandchildren. Number 3. Giving up is not an option if we want to prevent irreparable harm to our planet. Day 91. Allow it to grow itself. Sir Ken Robinson. Step 1. Preview. Nobody else can make anybody else learn anything. You cannot make them. Any more than if you are a gardener, you can make flowers grow. You don't make the flowers grow. You don't sit there and stick the petals on and put the leaves on and paint it. You don't do that. The flower grows itself. Your job, if you are any good at it, is to provide the optimum conditions for it to do that. To allow it to grow itself. Step 2. Sentence. Number 1. Nobody else can make anybody else learn anything. Number 2. You cannot make them. Number 3. Any more than if you are a gardener, you can make flowers grow. Number four. You don't make the flowers grow. Number five. You don't sit there and stick the petals on and put the leaves on and paint it. Number six. You don't do that. Number seven. The flower grows itself. Number eight. Your job, if you are any good at it, is Number 9. To provide the optimum conditions for it to do that. To allow it to grow itself. Step 3. Paragraph. Nobody else can make anybody else learn anything. You cannot make them. Any more than if you are a gardener, you can make flowers grow. You don't make the flowers grow. You don't sit there and stick the petals on and put the leaves on and paint it. You don't do that. The flower grows itself. Your job, if you are any good at it, is to provide the optimum conditions for it to do that. To allow it to grow itself. Step 4. Exercise. Number 1. Nobody else can make anybody else learn anything. Number two, you don't make the flowers grow. Number three, the flower grows itself. Day 92, let a person be what he really is. Jim Morrison. Step one, preview. That's what real love amounts to. Letting a person be what he really is. 
Most people love you for who you pretend to be. To keep their love, you keep pretending, performing. You get to love your pretense. It's true, we're locked in an image, an act. And the sad thing is, people get so used to their image, they grow attached to their masks. They love their chains. They forget all about who they really are. And if you try to remind them, they hate you for it. They feel like you're trying to steal their most precious possession. Step 2. Sentence. Number 1. That's what real love amounts to. Number 2. Letting a person be what he really is. Number 3. Most people love you for who you pretend to be. Number 4. To keep their love, you keep pretending, performing. Number 5. You get to love your pretense. Number 6. It's true. We're locked in an image, an act. Number 7. And the sad thing is, people get so used to their image that they grow attached to their masks. Number 8. They love their chains. Number nine. They forget all about who they really are. Number ten. And if you try to remind them, they hate you for it. Number eleven. They feel like you're trying to steal their most precious possession. Step three. Paragraph. That's what real love amounts to. Letting a person be what he really is. Most people love you for who you pretend to be. To keep their love, you keep pretending, performing. You get to love your pretense. It's true. We're locked in an image, an act. And the sad thing is, people get so used to their image, they grow attached to their masks. They love their chains. They forget all about who they really are. And if you try to remind them, they hate you for it. They feel like you're trying to steal their most precious possession. Step 4. Exercise. Number 1. Most people love you for who you pretend to be. Number 2. We're locked in an image. Number 3. They grow attached to their masks. Day 93. Be like water. Bruce Lee. Step 1. Preview. Be like water, making its way through cracks. Do not be assertive, but adjust to the object, and you shall find a way around or through it. If nothing within you stays rigid, outward things will disclose themselves. Empty your mind, be formless, shapeless like water. If you put water into a cup, it becomes the cup. You put water into a bottle, and it becomes the bottle. You put it in a teapot, it becomes the teapot. Now, water can flow, or it can crash. Be water, my friend. Step 2. Sentence. Number 1. Be like water, making its way through cracks. Number 2. Do not be assertive, but adjust to the object. Number three. And you shall find a way around or through it. Number four. If nothing within you stays rigid, outward things will disclose themselves. Number five. Empty your mind. Be formless. Number six. Shapeless like water. Number seven, if you put water into a cup, it becomes the cup. Number eight, you put water into a bottle and it becomes the bottle. Number nine, you put it in a teapot, it becomes the teapot. Number ten, now, water can flow or it can crash. Number eleven. Be water, my friend.
Step 3. Paragraph. Be like water making its way through cracks. Do not be assertive, but adjust to the object, and you shall find a way around or through it. If nothing within you stays rigid, outward things will disclose themselves. Empty your mind, be formless, shapeless like water. If you put water into a cup, it becomes the cup. You put water into a bottle, and it becomes the bottle. You put it in a teapot, it becomes the teapot. Now, water can flow or it can crash. Be water, my friend. Step 4. Exercise. Number 1. Be like water, making its way through cracks. Number 2. Outward things will disclose themselves. Number 3. Now, water can flow or it can crash. Day 94. What makes you different is your strength. Meryl Streep. Step 1. Preview. For young women, I would say, don't worry so much about your weight. Girls spend way too much time thinking about that, and there are better things. For young men and women, too, what makes you different or weird? That's your strength. Everyone tries to look a cookie-cutter kind of way. And actually, the people who look different are the ones who get picked up. I used to hate my nose. Now I don't. Step 2. Sentence. Number 1. For young women, I would say, don't worry so much about your weight. Number two. Girls spend way too much time thinking about that. Number three. And there are better things. Number four. For young men and women, too, what makes you different or weird, that's your strength. Number five. Everyone tries to look a cookie-cutter kind of way. Number six. And actually, the people who look different are the ones who get picked up. Number seven. I used to hate my nose. Now I don't. Step three. Paragraph. For young women, I would say, don't worry so much about your weight. Girls spend way too much time thinking about that. And there are better things. For young men and women, too, what makes you different or weird? That's your strength. Everyone tries to look a cookie-cutter kind of way. And actually, the people who look different are the ones who get picked up. I used to hate my nose. Now I don't. Step 4. Exercise. Number 1. Don't worry so much about your weight. Number 2. What makes you different is your strength. Number 3. Everyone tries to look a cookie-cutter kind of way. Day 95. I Dare Not Linger. Nelson Mandela. Step 1. Preview. I have walked that long road to freedom. I have tried not to falter. I have made missteps along the way. But I have discovered the secret that after climbing a great hill, one only finds that there are more hills to climb. I have taken a moment here to rest, to steal a view of the glorious vista that surrounds me, to look back on the distance I've come. But I can rest only for a moment, for with freedom comes responsibilities, and I dare not linger, for my long walk is not yet ended. Step 2. Sentence. Number 1. I have walked that long road to freedom. Number 2. I have tried not to falter. Number 3. I have made missteps along the way. Number 4. But I have discovered the secret. Number 5. That after climbing a great hill, one only finds that there are more hills to climb. Number six. I have taken a moment here to rest. 
Number 7. To steal a view of the glorious vista that surrounds me. To look back on the distance I have come. Number 8. But I can only rest for a moment. Number 9. For with freedom comes responsibilities, and I dare not linger. Number 10. For my long walk is not yet ended. Step 3. Paragraph. I have walked that long road to freedom. I have tried not to falter. I have made missteps along the way. But I have discovered the secret that after climbing a great hill, one only finds that there are more hills to climb. I have taken a moment here to rest, to steal a view of the glorious vista that surrounds me, to look back on the distance I have come. But I can only rest for a moment, for with freedom come responsibilities, and I dare not linger, for my long walk is not yet ended. Step 4. Exercise. Number 1. I have walked that long road to freedom. Number 2. I have made missteps along the way. Number 3. My long walk is not yet ended. Day 96. I would rather be ashes than dust. Jack London. Step 1. Preview. I would rather be ashes than dust. I would rather that my spark should burn out in a brilliant blaze than it should be stifled by dry rot. I would rather be a superb meteor, every atom of me in magnificent glow, than a sleepy and permanent planet. The function of man is to live, not to exist. I shall not waste my days trying to prolong them. I shall use my time. Step 2. Sentence. Number 1. I would rather be ashes than dust. Number 2. I would rather that my spark should burn out in a brilliant blaze than it should be stifled by dry rot. Number 3. I would rather be a superb meteor, every atom of me in magnificent glow, than a sleepy and permanent planet. Number 4. The function of man is to live, not to exist. Number 5. I shall not waste my days trying to prolong them. Number 6. I shall use my time. Step 3. Paragraph. I would rather be ashes than dust. I would rather that my spark should burn out in a brilliant blaze than it should be stifled by dry rot. I would rather be a superb meteor, every atom of me in a magnificent glow, than a sleepy and permanent planet. The function of man is to live, not to exist. I shall not waste my days trying to prolong them. I shall use my time. Step 4. Exercise. Number 1. I would rather be ashes than dust. Step 2. I would rather be a superb meteor than a sleepy and permanent planet. Number 3. The function of man is to live, not to exist. Day 97. I have never belonged wholeheartedly to a country. Albert Einstein. Step 1. Preview. I have never belonged wholeheartedly to a country, a state, nor to a circle of friends, nor even to my own family. When I was still a rather precocious young man, I already realized most vividly the futility of the hopes and aspirations that most men pursue throughout their lives. Well-being and happiness never appeared to me as an absolute aim. I am even inclined to compare such moral aims to the ambitions of a pig. Step 2. Sentence. Number 1. I have never belonged wholeheartedly to a country, a state, nor to a circle of friends, nor even to my own family. Number 2. When I was still a rather precocious young man. Number 3. 
I already realized most vividly the futility of the hopes and aspirations that most men pursue throughout their lives. Number four. Well-being and happiness never appeared to me as an absolute aim. Number five. I am even inclined to compare such moral aims to the ambitions of a pig. Step three. Paragraph. I have never belonged wholeheartedly to a country, a state, nor to a circle of friends, nor even to my own family. When I was still a rather precocious young man, I already realized most vividly the futility of the hopes and aspirations that most men pursue throughout their lives. Well-being and happiness never appeared to me as an absolute aim. I am even inclined to compare such moral aims to the ambitions of a pig. Step four: Exercise. Number one: I have never belonged wholeheartedly to a country. Number two: I was a rather precocious young man. Number three: Well-being and happiness never appeared to me as an absolute aim. Day ninety-eight. Love plus bravery equals happiness. Melody Hobson. Step one. Preview. Love plus bravery equals happiness. Other commencement speakers will tell you to be passionate about something. I'm telling you to be passionate about someone. It took me a long time to be as brave in my personal life. As I was in my professional life, and that's because to be brave in love means opening yourself up to the possibility of heartbreak. Then I met George. People talk about soulmates. I met my mind's friend, and since I always trust my mind when it told me to leap, so did my heart. Step two, sentence. Number one. Love plus bravery equals happiness. Number two. Other commencement speakers will tell you to be passionate about something. Number three. I'm telling you to be passionate about someone. Number four. It took me a long time to be as brave in my personal life as I was in my professional life. Number five. And that's because. To be brave in love means opening yourself up to the possibility of heartbreak. Number six. Then I met George. Number seven. People talk about soulmates. I met my mind's friend. Number eight. And since I always trust my mind when it told me to leap, so did my heart. Step three. Paragraph. Love plus bravery equals happiness. Other commencement speakers will tell you to be passionate about something. I'm telling you to be passionate about someone. It took me a long time to be as brave in my personal life as I was in my professional life, and that's because to be brave in love means opening yourself up to the possibility of heartbreak. Then I met George. People talk about soulmates. I met my mind's friend, and since I always trust my mind when it told me to leap, so did my heart. Step four, exercise. Number one. Love plus bravery equals happiness. Number two. To be brave in love means opening yourself up to the possibility of heartbreak. Number three. I always trust my mind when it told me to leap. Day ninety-nine. The world needs you in the arena, Tim Cook. Step one, preview. The sidelines are not where you want to live your life. The world needs you in the arena. There are problems that need to be solved, injustices that need to be ended, people that are still being persecuted. Disease is still in need of cure. No matter what you do next, the world needs your energy, your passion, your impatience with progress. Don't shrink from risk. 
and tune out those critics and cynics. History rarely yields to one person. But think, and never forget, what happens when it does. That can be you. That should be you. That must be you. Step 2. Sentence. Number 1. The sidelines are not where you want to live your life. Number 2. The world needs you in the arena. Number 3. There are problems that need to be solved. Number 4. Injustices that need to be ended. Number 5. People that are still being persecuted. Diseases still in need of cure. Number 6. No matter what you do next, the world needs your energy. Number 7. Your passion. Your impatience with progress. Don't shrink from risk. Number 8. And tune out those critics and cynics. Number 9. History rarely yields to one person. But think, and never forget, what happens when it does. Number 10. That can be you. That should be you. That must be you. Step 3. Paragraph. The sidelines are not where you want to live your life. The world needs you in the arena. There are problems that need to be solved. Injustices that need to be ended. People that are still being persecuted. Diseases still in need of cure. No matter what you do next, the world needs your energy, your passion, your impatience with progress. Don't shrink from risk and tune out those critics and cynics. History rarely yields to one person, but think and never forget what happens when it does. That can be you. That should be you. That must be you. Step 4. Exercise. Number 1. The world needs you in the arena. Number 2. No matter what you do next, the world needs your energy. Number 3. Don't shrink from risk. Day 100. Anyway. Anonymous. Step 1. Preview. Life is an opportunity. Benefit from it. People are often unreasonable and self-centered. Forgive them anyway. If you are kind, people may accuse you of ulterior motives. Be kind anyway. If you are honest, people may cheat you. Be honest anyway. If you find happiness, people may be jealous. Be happy anyway. The good you do today may be forgotten tomorrow. Do good anyway. Give the world the best you have and it may never be enough. Give your best anyway. For you see, in the end, it is between you and God. It was never between you and them anyway. Step 2. Sentence. Number 1. Life is an opportunity. Benefit from it. Number 2. People are often unreasonable and self-centered. Forgive them anyway. Number 3. If you are kind, people may accuse you of ulterior motives. Be kind anyway. Number 4. If you are honest, people may cheat you. Be honest anyway. Number 5. If you find happiness, people may be jealous. Be happy anyway. Number 6. The good you do today may be forgotten tomorrow. Do good anyway. Number 7. Give the world the best you have and it may never be enough. Give your best anyway. Number 8. For you see, in the end, it is between you and God. Number 9. It was never between you and them anyway. Step 3. Paragraph. Life is an opportunity. Benefit from it. 
People are often unreasonable and self-centered. Forgive them anyway. If you are kind, people may accuse you of ulterior motives. Be kind anyway. If you are honest, people may cheat you. Be honest anyway. If you find happiness, people may be jealous. Be happy anyway. The good you do today may be forgotten tomorrow. Do good anyway. Give the world the best you have, and it may never be enough. Give your best anyway. For you see, in the end, it is between you and God. It was never between you and them anyway. Step 4. Exercise. Number 1. If you are honest, people may cheat you. Number 2. If you find happiness, people may be jealous. Number 3. The good you do today may be forgotten tomorrow.